What's up everybody, welcome back to another Ride Dad channel video or welcome if it's your first time, either way, very glad to have you. We're replacing this really old, crappy, dull, just crappy <laughs> rear tail light. Uh, also deleting the rear turn signals because we're gonna do an all-in-one. You saw the thumbnail from Moon's Motorcycle Company. Let's roll the intro first. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 riding down a YouTube channel. Alright, so the first step in this, you might be wondering, doing a different license plate uh, bracket, so just kind of get ahead of myself. I don't care if you guys see my license plate because it's public knowledge. Anyway, this needs to come off first, so let's unscrew it. All right, once that's unscrewed, just come out. This bezel stays on the fender. You'll see that there is one, oh my God, this is so dirty in there. There's one um, plug going to the taillight. That's it. All right, so this is the particular headlight or taillight. Why do I keep wanting to say headlight? Taillight we went with from Moons. It's their brand new one. It's the V3. It's got a little button in there to control whether or not you have a, a strobe for your brake light, which I really like. It's part of the reasons I went with this one. Um, and it's a low pro, so let me just show you guys the size difference. <laughs> it's huge. Um, and I'm going with a clear on this bike, really emphasize the chrome kind of stuff. Um, chrome and clear, I feel like, work you know, well together, just something different than what I had before. So obviously you can see vastly different sizes. This is gonna be way brighter. Actually, I should have showed you guys what it looked like before. So let me plug this in so you guys can see a before and after for the brightness. Let me just place that back up there, turn it on. That's the running light, and that's the brake light. Not very bright. All right, so we're gonna pop this off again. And, and every bike is, not every bike, but some bikes are a little bit different. Really just depends on what kind of setup you have. This bike, these, little plugs, which is gonna be hard for me to get out without a little tool. These plugs to go directly to the turn signals. In this case, we're deleting these turn signals because our tail light has integrated turn signals. So, and I might be wrong, what should be able to happen is we should be able to plug this in, put these little things in for the turn signals, and it should be good to go. Some bikes you're gonna have to wire in a, a different extension there um, to, or not an extension, but a different uh, tab. And I believe, wiring harness. Why do I keep saying tab, wiring harness? Uh, this will tell you which one, little moon's directional. Uh, but, but white plug is a brake light, two smaller plugs to turn on. the green wire is left. All right, so we're gonna plug the green wire. Let's just make sure you guys can still see me, my camera timed out here. Green wire is left, so pop the green wire into where your left turn signal was. Brown wire is right, pop the right into where your turn signal was. And leave those there since we're not 100% sure yet. And this is gonna go on the bottom bracket. That should be it. So, I just wanted to, st just wanted to stay long enough for me to just turn the key and see if it works. All right, so it's not gonna stay without a screw, so we'll grab a screw real quick and at least put one side in. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, the running light is way brighter. Should change to red. There we go, there we go. Now let's see if the turn signals work. Okay, mixed them up, mixed them up, but they do work. Look at that. So that should be right. So I guess they were mixed up from the beginning with the factory, or maybe it's just a different model or whatever, but check that out, guys. Does that not look great? Way brighter, got a license plate light. Heck yes, this install was way easier than doing the install for the Lowrider S when I did it. So we're gonna go ahead and 
loosen that up, exchange the, oh yeah, I need my little kind of tool here. We're gonna change the brown and green around because they're opposite of what they should be for some reason, even though I followed the directions. Change those in. We're gonna thread these suckers out of there because we're about to take those off anyway. Make sure everything's buttoned up. And then we're just gonna put the screws in. Call it a day. Super easy. Make sure when you are screwing these in and it's not over tight. If you over tighten it, you can crack this bezel here. Well, you have chrome or black. This bezel is uh, plastic. <clears throat> and then obviously your tail light, whether stock or not, is plastic as well. So it is something you want to be careful about. And I have not aligned it correctly, which is why it's fitting weird. There's going to be a little lip for that light that should fit in kind of the bezel. There we go. Now it's in. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't do this before I see if I want the strobe light function on. All right, now I got the strobe function turned on. Check this out. Strobe. Way better. And I know you guys probably, let me tilt it down maybe. Maybe that'll help the camera pick it up because it's, I know it's really bright on camera. But hopefully you guys can at least see that the strobe, so. And we got the right signal, right turn signal should be working fine. Brake still works, even though you're doing a turn or not. Goes first, slow at first, and then speeds up. Still got the brake going on. Very quality product. So there you have it. I know the camera angle was a little weird. I'm, I'm pressed for space in here, but hopefully you saw it. This install literally could not be different. I don't know if there is an aftermarket wiring harness in here that typically, like, so I'm at Softail for those of you who saw it, didn't see it or don't know, don't have any other bikes, whatever. Um, typically there's only one wire that runs under your seat, under the fender uh, wiring harness that basically controls the brake. Then that's pretty much it. Your turn signals are run directly from under the seat as well. I don't know because the Sportster, I don't know if because the Sportster is a smaller frame or whatever, it's just done differently from the factory. Everything appears to be factory in here. Um, so it appears that it's just one wiring harness that fits directly in there. And then the turn signals plug in to here, which means you are, there's like a circuit board in that bezel, which is where that wiring harness connects into. And then your taillight plugs into. Um, so it makes it super easy for this because you don't have to do anything else. Um, there are those uh, circuit boards in the bezels of other bikes like the M8 Softail I had. Um, the only difference would have been I would have had to order another harness. Um, that harness has everything and replaces the turn signal lines from there. Um, runs everything just like this bike does apparently from stock uh, configuration to the bezel circuit board and then you plug the tail light with the integrated turn signals in um, directly to there as well. So yes, this does mean that my uh, turn signals are no good anymore, which is fine. I told you guys I'm going to take them out anyway. Um, I want it to be just integrated with a more slim look back here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it could not have been easier. It's literally a 100% plug and play. I mean, even videoing, it took what, like six minutes, I think somewhere in there. So yeah, Moon's MC. Um, I, I've always liked Moon's. I just really like their stuff. Um, Eagle Lights is crazy good too. Uh, the only difference, Moons is the only ones that had this strobe and um, low profile with turn signals in a clear configuration. Eagle had pretty much the same thing, but it was dark. They didn't have a clear, so that's the big difference. So uh, make sure you're subscribed, turn on post notifications. Why wouldn't you? Never miss a video. Right and Dad, we're cranking out videos all the time here. Really good build series. If you want to see any of the other build series I have going on, check out the description. If you want to get yourself anything from Moons or this specifically, the link for this will be in the description as well. Tucker Speed affiliate code and uh, coupon code. Save yourself some money on everything in the site in the description. Turn on post notifications like I already said, but I'm going to say it again because a lot of you guys don't do it. Like this video it really would help me out. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video and you help me out and the channel out. TikTok, Instagram, everything in the description. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad, out.